Hello, this is Ninja Bob, and welcome to episode number 73 inside my Trophy Town Survival World, and uh, the first episode in our second year uh, as a Minecraft YouTube channel. Uh, if you missed it, uh, we uh, uploaded a video the other day on September the 1st, in fact, to mark the, uh, the first anniversary of the very first video uh, that I ever uploaded for Minecraft to YouTube, and uh, yeah, it was uh, it was called Happy Birthday to Me, and just to be clear, it's not my actual real life birthday, it is only my Minecraft birthday, or specifically my Minecraft YouTube birthday, but I thought I'd uh, mention it. Uh, one thing I didn't show in the video, if you didn't see it, I was showing I was showing off a couple of different buildings that, have, uh, that we don't go to very often in my world, uh, but I completely forgot to mention this one. Uh, this tree house that you're looking at here is actually Enfield Angel's house. Um, I don't know how often she comes here, to be honest, because whenever she comes into this world, it's primarily to do work for me, building trains lines and stuff but she's got herself a bed in fact she's got two i guess she can have visitors she's also got a wardrobe here with some chests in there which is pretty cool uh, but yeah I, I i don't think i've ever shown this in the videos before so i thought i would i thought we'd just pop up here and have a quick look before we got on with anything um we are going to try and get on with things a little bit today. We've, uh, we're, we are working on a monument, uh, our end portal frame, which is, um, I'm sort of losing count now. If there, There's 29 monuments that we're building. Uh, we've done a whole bunch of them. We've only got three and a half or three and two halves left to do. Uh, we are, we're most of the way done with our, our end portal frame, which is what we're going to be working on today. We've obviously also got the roller coaster that we're working on. And again, mentioning Anfield Angel, it's Anfield Angel and I that are doing the roller coaster and we're doing it during live streams. We've missed the week, uh, but hopefully we'll be back uh, and getting on with that again soon it's um we are going to be doing it, uh, like I say, on live streams. Generally, it'll be midweek, uh, sort of 8, 9 o'clock, something like that, UK time. Um, not sure when the next one will be, but keep an eye on my Facebook and my Twitter and um, my Instagram as well, and I will try to announce them in plenty, in as much notice as I possibly can to let you know when they're coming. Uh, and these are the places where you can find me. So, yeah, forward slash Ninja Bob Gaming or at Ninja Bob Gaming, depending on where you're looking for me, that's, that's the name you'll find me under. So, yeah, it is our second. This is, uh, I guess this is, this is our second video, I guess, technically, in the second year of uh, my Minecraft YouTube channel. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's the first full episode we've done. Episode number 73, like I say. And if you've never seen the series before, then, well, where have you been? Uh, basically, like I say, what we're doing is we're building monuments for each of the PlayStation Network trophies. There are 29 of them, and we're building them in the order that I got the monuments... Uh, sorry, that I got the trophies, I should say, in my original PlayStation 3 series uh, all, all that time ago, on September 1st, 2014. Um, so, yeah, we're today we're going to be doing this one for the, for the end, question mark, as opposed to the end, full stop. <laughs> you know, so I have to so, uh, the way I have to say that differently, just to make it clear which one I mean. The end, or the end, the end. No, the end. The end. No, the end with a question mark. You get the idea. Uh, anyway, <laughs> right. So I've, you might have noticed I've just grabbed some uh, cactus or cooked cactus. What, what is it called? It's called cactus green. It's dye now, basically. Uh, we're going to be using some cactus green dye along with some other dyes uh, to. Oh, I thought so. Yeah, look, my, my, my water system has stopped working in my little chicken egg farm. Um, I think that means it's out of fuel. This system works on... Uh, yeah, it's actually fueled. It genuinely is. It's fueled by um, rotten flesh. Uh, so I'm guessing that I've run out. Let's go and quickly check. And, yep, sure enough, the dispenser is empty. So I guess I'm going to have to come back and, and refuel that with, uh, with rotten flesh at some point. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'll come back to that. Um, let's grab some dyes, and in fact, while we're here, we might as well grab some wool, because, well, like I say, we've only got a couple of monuments left to do after this one, um, and that would be, let's grab some shears. Where are my shears gone? There they are, look, at the top there. All right, let's grab some shears, and while I'm talking, I can grab some more wool, because uh, after doing the end, no, the end, no, the end, Oh, you know what I mean. After we've done the one with the question mark, we've got to do the one with a full stop. Um, and then after that, we're going to be doing awarded all trophies. And in between that, we're going to be doing the uh, on a rail roller coaster. So we've got three monuments left that we're going to build after today's. Um, and they are all going to involve a lot of wool. A lot of black, a lot of red, a lot of grey, and some other colours too. Um, but yeah, there is going to be a lot of wool required. So whenever I'm down here now, I'm just having to take the opportunity to grab as much wool as I possibly can. Because like I say, it's all going to get used at some point. Uh, but that's not actually the reason I came down here. Let me just... Uh, that's clay. I don't need clay. Is that everything? That's everything there. Let's go and get rid of the shears. The reason I actually came down here... Ugh, 
So tense. It's so difficult to walk away when you know you need all that wall. It's so difficult to walk away when you see one that's grown its wall back. But we got we need to get on with today's video, and today's video doesn't need wall. Uh, what today's video needs is dye. Uh, specifically, it needs blue, green, uh, bone meal, and black. And then we're going to mix some of those up. And what we're going to be dyeing is some glass. Uh, and because uh, what we're going to actually be building is. Um, an eye of ender. So we've built our end portal frame. That's what we were doing over the last couple of videos. Today we're going to be building an eye of ender to put into the top of it. And I'm going the wrong way. I, I keep doing this. I need to go to floor number three. Let's go down here. There's a bit of a shortcut here. There you go. Um, down here is where I've got my glass, which should be yet yeah, down here in this back corner. So let's grab a few blocks of glass. Uh, what colours have I already got? I've got a bit of light blue. I might use that actually. Cyan. Oh, white. I'm going to use some white. Might as well take that. Uh, I think that's about it, actually. I don't think I'm going to need any other colours. Um, so, yeah, let's let's head over to Trophy Town. We've got our glass. Oh, I'll tell you what else we could grab while we're here. We might grab some obsidian. Have I got obsidian? I do. Look, there we go. Got a bit of obsidian over here. Uh, I'm not quite sure how much I'm going to need. Let's take all but one of those. There we go. Uh, I'm not sure if we'll get around to using that today, but that's the other thing that I'm going to be using for this build. So let's head over to Trophy Town. In fact, should we go? Let's go the underground route, shall we? Let's uh, let's go over here, uh, jump down to the bottom floor. From here, we need to just go up slightly uh, to the next floor, which is floor number one. And on floor number one is where all my train lines go. And obviously, we're going to have a new train line soon. Uh, but I'll explain that in just a moment because uh, I'm sort of getting slightly ahead of myself. Let's get to Trophy Town, um, and uh, yeah, we shall uh, we shall move on. Um, so yeah. Coming up on the screen at the moment is a list of all the different trophies that I've got in the order that I got them in that original series. All the yellow ones are ones we've already built monuments for. Uh, I think red is the one that we're working on. Uh, and obviously, like I say, we've got these last three to go, including the end, question mark. So that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, let's just get over to Trophy Town, and then uh, hopefully everything else will start to become clear. Uh, I forgot to mention, actually, in terms of the, uh, the the birthday video, the one-year anniversary birthday, I did, um, I, I did want to say a quick thank you to a few different people. Oh, it's night time. Don't want to hang around here while it's dark. Let's go and find somewhere to sleep before I say what I was about to say because I don't want anything creeping up and blowing me up or shooting me in the face or anything like that. So we're going to go to my super, super secret basement that nobody knows about. Shush, keep it to yourself. Uh, right, let's just jump into bed. And what I want to do is I wanted to say thank you to the following people. I wanted to say thank you to Flame Rifle, Vero Plays MC, Boo Mario, Joel Thomas, Oliver Tattersall, Thunderwolf1, Mystical Gaming, Jack Kruger, Mist Ice, Nexito GoPro MFME, Forza, Shuabali, Mystical Gaming, I thought I said Mystical Gaming, yes I have, sorry I've said you twice, Pin Delicious, um, Epic Mad Badger, Puppy Face and Gaming God. And the reason I wanted to mention those people is because they all jumped onto that last video that I published and wished me a happy birthday. So yeah, I just wanted to say thank you. I do appreciate you. I do appreciate your comments. I would put you all into the tribute trail, but a lot of you are already actually already in there. And there's too many names. I can't be bothered to add them all. I did get some other messages on Twitter and Facebook as well, and I do appreciate all the messages I got uh, wishing me happy birthday. Like I say, not my real birthday, but it's close enough, isn't it? It's close enough. <laughs> right, let's get on with things, shall we? Uh, I want to get rid of that dirt, because that shouldn't really be there. Uh, I want to grab a crafting table. I think I've got a spare one just in here. There we go. Right, let's grab that. Uh, and let's go up to the roof, because that's where we're going to be doing our work. So this is the uh, end portal frame. Uh, we were doing most of the work of this in the last video, but as you can see, I've finished it off. I've done the walls, and I've done the roof, and it's basically good to go. We just need to do the, uh, the, the eye of ender that's going to go in the roof of this thing, and we're going to do this out of glass. Now, I've stained glass, hence why we picked up all the clays. Uh, clays. All the dyes, I should say. Um, but... What I need to do is try and work out how we're going to do this. I'm going to put a picture on the screen just now of what a eye of ender looks like. There you go, up in the corner. And you can see how it's... Uh... Oh, by the way, I meant to mention that's the roller coaster that we're working on. Haven't done any, haven't made any real progress since the last time you saw it. But just in case you haven't seen it before, that's where the roller coaster is going to be. It's going to go up there and round and down and through Trophy Town and under Trophy Town and over Trophy Town. It's going to go all over the place. Anyway, um, right, so... Uh, the Eye of Ender, which is up in the corner again. There we go. Let's start again. Uh, there's the Eye of Ender. Um, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be building this out of glass. Now, it's slightly awkward because, as you can see from the picture, uh, an Eye of Ender is normally 16 pixels across. So if we were doing pixel art, we'd want it to be 16 blocks wide. But this whole building is 16 blocks wide. So the hole is nowhere near that big. In fact, it's one, two, three, four off each side. That means it's only eight blocks wide. So we've got to kind of do it in sort of half dimensions. 
So it's, it's going to be a bit... I'm not sure how this is going to work, if I'm absolutely honest, but we're going to give it a go. Well, um, what's the worst that can happen? <laughs> Famous last words. Um, right, let's get rid of that crafting table, because it's just occurred to me that it's going to get very dark up here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly stick down some torches in these corners. I like. I think these are a good spot to put the torches. I think they will look good. Uh, let's get rid of that one. Um, so yeah, what we're going to try and work out is how to sort of design this eye of Ender. And we want to try and make it as round as we possibly can. So we're going to try and go for a sort of dome shape. Uh, we're going to go for a dome shape using the glass in different shades. Uh, you can see the different colours. Uh, there's... Uh, there's a bit of green that's going to be in there, a bit of cyan, a bit of white, a bit of black. So, a bit of everything, really. Um, I've just got to work out how. So, let me grab my crafting table. Uh, let's make ourselves some cyan glass. I think the first colour that we're going to use, in fact, the main colour we're going to use for the first couple of circles is going to be cyan. So, let's see if we can find... Ah, I haven't made any cyan dye. Right, I need to do that first of all, don't I? I also want some lime green. Um, let's have a quick look at this. There we go. Right, so there's lime green, uh, cyan and... Lime green, do I want any more light blue? Probably not, actually. I think that's probably enough. Uh, so now what we need to do is make some glass. Where's the glass? The glass is here, and we are looking for... Might as well make a couple of, bits of, uh, couple of stacks of... Um, of lime green or a couple of piles of lime green not full stacks obviously uh, but let's make quite a few of the uh, the sign that should do it actually hopefully that's enough uh, let's have a quick look uh, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start here now at some point I may get rid of these bits of wall I'm not sure if they need to be here as well whether that's a bit too much but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start around the outside edge with more cyan glass so what I'm, what I'm saying is, is I could get rid of that uh, that cyan uh, wall there and just leave the cyan glass to do the job but I'm not sure if that's, I don't know I think we'll start like this, we can always take away afterwards if it doesn't look right uh, but I think this is this is certainly the way to start so we're going to go around here in uh, as close to a circle as we possibly can obviously this is Minecraft so uh, you don't get actual circles in this game but we're going to get as close as we possibly can uh, right, let's grab a bit of dirt because we're going to need to sort of make ourselves some scaffolding here I suspect for these corners as we go up a layer uh, we need to sort of be able to, um, yeah, we're, we're going to go up in these corners here. So we're going to have to build up on top of the dirt, I think, is the only way we're going to be able to do it, really. So let's stick a few bits of dirt in these corners here like this. And I think what we'll do initially is we'll just go up with more or less another row of cyan like this. I don't think we need to do much more than that. Uh, let's go around like this. And then somewhere... Actually, you know what? I think it needs a bit of white. If we look at the picture again of uh, an iron ender, uh, you can see these, these little highlights in the corners, these little bits of white in the corners. I think I need to sort of try and replicate that a little bit if I can. Um, I think, yeah, let's, let's, let's get all cyan in place first, and then what we'll do is I'll make sure I've got my silk touch pickaxe rather than my efficiency one. Let's switch those over now. There we go, that's my silk touch. Uh, and I think what we'll do is we'll start over in this corner, uh, I've got some white glass, so let's get rid of, say, uh, let's say let's get rid of um, this one and this one and replace them with white glass. Not there, Bob. Come on. Uh, right, get rid of that one again. Uh, try again. Let's stick a bit of white glass just there and there. And then I think we need probably another one over in this corner somewhere, maybe here, like this. Uh, and stick a white in there. And then again, over this side somewhere. Uh, I feel like it should probably, actually it should probably be about the same place actually, about here. Um, another white one. I think that's probably enough actually for the white. Okay, yeah, that's working so far I think. Now around here I think is where we need to sort of start switching it up. And maybe looking at the lime green. It did occur to me whether there should be any lime green in the frame. If you look at, uh, let me just put a picture of the end portal frame on the screen, and you can see it's got sort of a greeny tinge to it, but it's also got a bit of a cyan tinge to it, and a bit of a light blue tinge to it, and at the same time it hasn't got any of those colours, it's kind, it's kind of weird isn't it, it's a kind of weird collection of colours and it's really difficult to replicate, but I'm quite happy with the way it looks, I'm just, uh, that this building looks, I'm just not sure if I should have maybe put some lime green in it, don't know, let me know what you think for the time, uh, but for the time being let's, uh, let's just get on with what we've got, what we've got here is uh, the next layer up, so we're going to go up and um, I've just remembered I've got a few light, flight, few light blue um, bits of glass with me, maybe what I'll do Let's use some of those, shall we? There we go. We've got four of them. So I think what we could do is let's uh, let's switch out and get the lime green with us as well. If we go, maybe say uh, say a lime green. No, okay. Let's go blue here, like this, and maybe cyan up here 
and here, but then we'll drop in a, a, a lime green there, and then round in these corners we'll go primarily lime green like this, and around, uh, except then maybe round about here. Uh, in fact, let's do let's do blue again in that corner. Uh, you can tell I'm making this up as I go along, can't you? <laughs> But that's that's all part of the fun. That's all part of the fun. Don't complain. We, that's part of the fun of doing this is that we make it up as we go along. Uh, right, I think uh, what we'll do is we'll stick a light blue in there and maybe uh, a cyan there and then maybe some more lime green here. And then round right about here is where we need to start thinking about getting the black into position. Um, how do I want to do this? Do I want to go... I think I do want to go up one layer from here, don't I, really? I think, I think if I go... Yeah, I think if we go up from here, let's grab our dirt again. Oh, and I haven't got, any, I haven't made any black glass yet, so let's make some black glass. Where's my crafting table gun? Let's go over here, and we don't need that much black actually. We only need eight pieces, so we can just there we go, click that like that. Um, now, is, have we got enough? If we went say, um, let's say if we went uh, with a a blue here and a lime green here. No, no, no. See, nah, no, nah, that's the problem. I want it, I want it slightly higher than that. I think. Let's try. Yeah, let's try this. Let's, let's get rid of those two again. Uh, they're going to drop all the way to the ground, aren't they? Ah, oh, how annoying! How annoying! Because I now think I'm going to be slightly short. Right, let me go and grab those because uh, I think I'm now going to be slight. Let's just double check what I've got. Uh, oh no, actually no. Maybe I'll get away with it. Maybe I'll get away with it. What I'll need is to come up one layer uh, like so, and we'll do the same here and the same here and the same here. Now on this side, we want the black glass. Where's my black glass gone? There we go. So the black glass we're going to put uh, just about there. And this is going to be sort of the, the eye part, if you like. In fact, I don't want it going that way. I want it going the other way. Let's stick a bit of dirt under this so that we don't lose it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's do that. Grab our silk touch. And get rid of that one and that one. And there we go. We've got the back. Uh, and yeah, what I want is I want the eye going this way, if that makes any sense. It's obviously like a long slit. Uh, and we need to go this way. The, the slight shame with this is that an eye of ender would normally be uh, that the, the middle of the eye of ender would be either one block or, or I guess three blocks wide, an odd number basically. So it looks slightly weird it being two blocks wide, but I think it still works. I think it will still work. Uh, right now, I think if I go here and here like so, and then if I do make, maybe I'll do the opposite just to mix it up a little bit. We'll go the opposite just like that. Now I think. That sort of works, but it's 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 kind of difficult to tell with all that dirt there, isn't it? It's kind of difficult to tell whether that looks good or whether it looks awful. Ah, oh, this spoon is just too overpowered. I need to switch it. Where's my other one? There we go. Let's use my vanilla spoon from now on. It's just too overpowered. That thing. It really is. Uh, right. There we go. There's the glass that we dropped. Um, yeah. At the moment, at the moment, it doesn't really look like anything, does it? At the moment, it just looks like a mess. So let's uh, let's let's stack up in the middle here and uh, see about getting rid of these bits of dirt. And then uh, maybe, hopefully, we can have a proper look uh, from a bit of a distance. It, I think it's always difficult to judge things like this. Uh, we had the same problem when we were doing the bottle, and I ended up tinkering with that about four or five different times. Uh, because it's difficult when you're trying to make something round, you can't judge it from too close up. So we're trying to make this big sort of glass sphere at the moment, or semi-sphere. Um, and you can't really tell whether it works or not, because when you get close up to it, it just looks like a load of blocks stacked together. It doesn't look round in the slightest. I suppose you could say it looks a little bit like a pyramid, but not even that, really. It just it just looks like blocks placed everywhere. You don't really get the sense of whether it, it works as a round thing or not. So we're going to go back down here, now that we've done this. And look at the mess I've made everywhere. There is dirt everywhere. Uh, right, let's uh, let's grab these bits of dirt, let's tidy up as we go, and then let's. I suppose first of all, let's have a look from down here. Now, from down here, I actually think that looks pretty good. I'm not sure about the the light blue bits there and there. I think I might want to swap them out for lime, and maybe put the blues in in these corners here, maybe. Maybe. Not sure. Let's go and see if we can have a look at it from a bit more of a distance. In fact, you know what? No, I'm convinced those 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 line bits are definitely wrong. So let's go and fix those first. Um, because, I'm, like I say, I'm pretty certain I'm not I'm not going to be happy with that. So let's uh, let's fix that first and foremost. If I've got... Uh, what I need is to get rid of maybe, say, this one. Uh, and grab that. And we'll swap that for a blue. There we go. Um, now let's grab uh, this guy just here. And see if we can catch it. We did. Good, good, good. And we'll swap it for this one. Uh, so we'll put him in there like so. And then we'll go around to this side. And we'll get rid of this guy just here. Let's see if we can catch it. 
yep, we did. Good, good, good. And then we'll swap that for lime. And over on that side, we'll put a lime in just there. Now, I'm pretty certain that's going to look better now. Uh, but I think the best best thing to do is to try and get a look at this from a distance. And the only place I can think of, to be honest, where we can get a decent level of distance is our roller coaster. So, let's go and jump in. Um, it doesn't go very far, this roller coaster, but it should go far enough. Did that pressure plate work? There we go. Right, jump in like that. Push the button, and away we go. Uh, hopefully, this won't fly, fling us off the top. It should stop, because, stop us, because there is a fence just there. There we go. That's worked. And there we go. I think that looks pretty good, actually, doesn't it? I think that looks all right. I'm quite happy with the way that's turning out. Yeah, okay. What I'm not happy with is the fact that I've left the crafting table on the roof. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to stack back up there again, aren't I, and get rid of that because that looks really, really, really silly. Uh, but apart from that, yeah, I'm quite happy with the way that's shaping up. I think this is starting to look good. So really, all we need to worry about now is the interior uh, and making sure that the interior looks good. Um, let's get rid of that crafting table now because otherwise, I'm gonna forget. I'm gonna forget, and weeks from now, I'll be doing something else. I'll be up on the roller coaster or something, and I'll look down and I'll go, "What's that?" And I'll probably think it's a beastie, and I'll stand there trying to shoot arrows into it for 20 minutes before I finally realise that it's just that I've left the crafting table up there. So, so let's just get rid of this thing now. Um, right? Okay. I think, yeah, I, th I I think that's worked out quite nicely. I think um I think our eye of Ender. And our end portal frame is starting to look the part. So really, like I say, all we've got to worry about now is the interior. Now, all of my buildings in Trophy Town, or most of them, um, for example, getting wood, uh, has got a double purpose. The double purpose of getting wood is that it looks like a giant log. Um, and again, we tried to make that look as round as we possibly could. Whether we succeeded or not, I don't know. You tell me. Uh, but it looks like a giant log, but inside it is actually a little baby-sized tree farm uh, being run by Woody. Hello, Woody. Hello. How are you? You okay? Good, good, good. Good to see you. You been busy? Been busy? Oh, good. Good. Good to hear it. Glad to hear it. Um, so, yeah, this is a little mini tree farm being run by Woody. Uh, so, yeah, right, rather than just looking like a giant log, it's actually got a secondary purpose. Now, the secondary purpose of this building, obviously, is to be a train station. And the train station is going to be going specifically from here directly to the end portal. And that's what this hole in the ground is all about. So, you come down here, and obviously, it needs a bit of work. It needs a bit of tidying up. At the moment, it looks a little bit ugly. But you can see here, the train line is here, and the tunnel's all been carved out, but we've still got to lay the actual train tracks and, and get the roof all filled in, so it's all color coded just like the rest of my train tracks um but yeah the, the, the hard work i guess you could say has been done the tunneling has been done and it's ready to go so that's the secondary purpose of this building what i'm slightly concerned about is that whilst the outside of the building looks okay or i think it looks good personally uh, let me know what you think um i think the outside of the building looks okay and the function of the building is pretty good i.e the train station going to the end portal so that we can go to the end from here but apart from that i'm slightly worried that the interior is a little bit bland. It's a little bit, I don't know, it, I, I just feel like it needs something. I don't know what, I don't know what. So I guess I'm gonna throw it over to you guys. You you let me know, Put drop a comment into, into the box below uh, and let me know if you've got any suggestions for what else this building could do. What else could we put in this building to make it slightly more interesting looking um, and maybe even a, a third function. So it's a, it looks like a, an end, end portal frame as a monument. It is a train station to the end portal. Sorry, the end question mark. Um, but what is its what is its other thing? What what could we do in here to make it a bit more interesting? Anyway, I think we're just about out of time for today's video. Um, my name is Ninja Bob. You've been watching Trophy Town. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, if you have, please leave a like. Uh, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, in the meantime. I'll say thank you, and hopefully I will see you in another video soon. Bye!